Here we are at the Paradise Hotel in Busan, South Korea, and the beach is right there. This is a beautiful, beautiful hotel right on Hyundai Beach, which is one of the most popular beaches in the country. And we stayed here for absolutely free. These hotel rooms are like $600 a night, but if you're in the army and you're coming here to South Korea and you're married, or even if you're single, they have retreats for you, for like single soldiers, or for you and a family, you can go on a marriage retreat, which is what we just did this weekend. Yeah. We had a great time. The hotel was absolutely free. We had some classes. Um, and with the, the meals, chaplain? Yeah, with, and the meals were totally included. Yes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, so we loved it. It is, if we would have stayed here this weekend, it would have easily been over a $1,000 or maybe probably $1,500. So yeah. we're gonna show you this beautiful hotel now. We're here for a marriage retreat. Now, in the army, uh, in every single battalion, there's usually a chaplain. And the chaplain is sort of the spiritual and uh, could be like spiritual and psychological like leader and provides mentorship and counseling to soldiers and also to families too. Um, there's a certain amount of money every single year in the battalion or brigade that's dedicated to sending families and also just single soldiers to these retreats for a weekend so these retreats are totally free to the soldier and the family which is amazing food included too they normally happen either once or twice a year uh, we were in germany and we went to the german alps two times in one year which was beautiful now here in korea we're at the beach in september and believe it or not we had a tough time getting filling up slots because not many people wanted to go but it is an incredible opportunity yeah and to go you just need to apply right yeah and they send yeah. out a letter uh, mm -hmm. maybe like a week or two in advance which is pretty short notice but mm -hmm. um yeah if you're available because sometimes they do it during uh like the times where there's a lot of four-day weekends, right? Yeah. Or in yeah. Germany, it was a, both times were right after the block leave. Yeah. So because of that, some people <laughs> don't really feel like traveling again right. or they're busy doing mm -hmm. things. So, uh, yeah, so this time only eight only, rooms I were... I think it was eight families. Yeah. And we were scrambling to get people. But, um, yeah, yeah. And they... They'll normally do it at an odd time so they can save money. So yeah, it'll be like right after a block leave happens, like the first weekend or back or um, yeah, in between four days or something because that's when people aren't really traveling and that's when the prices are normally better. Well, not this time though. Yeah, yeah, Here yeah, right now it's like high season. Yeah. It's like yeah, the so highest we, prices for this hotel. Yeah, one night would have been six hundred dollars at least to stay yeah. in this hotel. We've seen, taxes. yeah, this hotel could be four hundred or 
less, but right now, yeah, it's all filled. It, it was sold out. If you wanted to stay here for this weekend, uh, no, there's a lot of Koreans, some mm -hmm. international tourists too, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they saved any money this time. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, but, but yeah, and you get here, the, the army will provide transportation for you and your family. They'll have a bus and they provide meals here, so you literally don't have to spend a cent while you're here. And how do you apply? Um, so your battalion chaplain will normally send out a notification and there will be a list and they'll normally prioritize, like, the priority normally goes to enlisted and enlisted families and then after that officers and officer families, then after that it's enlisted and then officers who have already gone on a trip before. So they'll normally, normally prioritize the service members that haven't been on a marriage retreat before. So that's normally the priority. You could be on a waiting list, and like before in Germany, we were on a waiting list both times, and two people dropped out, and we found out like a day before, and we just packed our bags and went. So Yeah. yeah. So it's a good deal. buildings here. Beautiful buffet in here.
back with the city view, which is still pretty sick. So for a marriage retreat or a singles retreat, the schedule is normally like, it starts at fr on Friday at three o'clock or you check into the hotel at three o'clock and then your first session will be either dinner or a class at five or six o'clock. Now what that means is on Friday from that work day, you'll get dismissed early. You get to leave early from your work day to pack, get ready, get your family ready and everything because your place of duty is going to be this location. You know, you're not, you can't work a full day and then just drive an hour and a half and check in somewhere. No, like the army is gonna prioritize that you're gonna be here because the army's paying a lot of money for you to be here. So it'll start on Friday with about a two, three hour class. And then- And what is in a class? In a class, so for a marriage retreat, it's normally like you go over like the love languages. We went over building trust and different ways to build trust with our partners and stuff like that. So um, if it's not really like, maybe you think that it could be like one-on-one -on -one counseling or two-on-one -on -one counseling with your partner that's really intimate, but it's really not. It's in a group setting the whole time. Yeah, you're um, sitting in different groups at ta uh, like a few tables. And sometimes you have to do activities uh, like together in a group at that table. But this time we didn't even have to do any activities like this. Yeah. Yeah, we were given some handouts and a book that we could take home with us. Um, but mostly you just listen and yeah, sometimes you answer some questions, right? Yeah. About what you think uh, yeah. like the most important things in a relationships are and how to fix some problems and yeah, you yeah. learn some tricks and uh, techniques. Mm -hmm. And like communication and stuff like that with your mm -hmm. spouse. So it's really good. Um, and uh, so that's like for three hours on Friday, then you're released and you, you can do whatever you want Friday night. Saturday morning at nine o'clock, you come for another session. After breakfast. After breakfast, yeah. Got to get up, get the, get the family up before breakfast or have breakfast before the meeting and stuff. Meeting starts at nine. And then you'll have a second session where you just continue your lessons. That'll last until about 11 or so, 11 o'clock. Then you're released for the entire day. But that day they provide lunch and dinner to you as well back at the hotel, which is really great. Yeah. And the third day. And it was like a fancy four course meal for us. Yeah, yeah. Every time. Appetizer, soup, like. Dessert. Main course dessert, yeah. And free desserts, like every time that we come there, there were always like little macaroons and things yeah. like that, coffee and tea. Yeah. And then Sunday, uh, you have one final session, which is from nine until about 10 or so. Right um, before checkout. Yeah, right before checkout. So it'll give you enough time to, to go get your stuff and check out. So it's really great um, to have this like counseling and everything. I would say the biggest advantage though, is just vacationing in a, like a foreign country, but with other Americans. Because, you know, if you're on your own or your family's on your own vacationing in Korea or Germany or something like that, it can be very overwhelming. Um, when we were vacationing here before, we got we got stuck in a parking lot because we didn't have a payment method to get out of it. This one. <laughs> in fact, it was this parking lot right here. We took a day trip to Busan. Yeah. Um, we went to this parking lot. We tried we to get out. We checked the price. Everything was okay. Yeah. We got back two hours later mm -hmm. and we're trying we try, to get out. Tried to pay with Visa, didn't accept it. MasterCard, no. American Express, no. Cash, no. Finally, T-Money, which is unique to Korea, and T-Money in Korea normally works everywhere, still didn't accept it. They only accepted Samsung Pay. So I had to work something out with the car behind me and he, I gave him dollars and he paid for me. So just, you know, living and vacationing in a foreign country can be super overwhelming. Uh, especially if you don't yeah, know the park, language. Parking here at this hotel was, well, it, it is free if you park by yourself, yourself in the garage, but they also have valet parking. Yeah, valet for 25,000 won, which is like 20 bucks. But the main advantage is just hanging out, vacationing with other Americans, so very Well, in a, in a super yeah. cool spot, because, yeah. yeah, this hotel is not just on the beach, it also has its own thermal pools yes. where they have water from hot springs and they're all different colors and uh they're like super unique pools mm -hmm. uh that i think only adults can go to but
but they also have a big pool for kids too, where both adults and kids can go to. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they so. have kids pools right there too. Yeah. So, well, this is just specifically like I think a small one only for. I don't even know what because most kids are in the big pool with the sea view on yeah. the other side of the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So. And yeah, and we will attach some pictures. Yeah. It looks incredible. Yeah. Other than that, it's it's a beautiful beach. They have an aquarium here. They have a boat ride here, hour long, beautiful. They have a like view from top the top of like one of these buildings that are like 60 stories tall or something like that. Giant, giant buildings here. So yeah, it's, it's a great place. Yeah, so one of these buildings is the second highest building in Korea after the Latte World Tower and Seoul. Yeah. Okay, finally, uh, so if you're in Korea, any unit can come here, and units most often go to this hotel, Paradise Hotel in Busan, which is unique because it's uh, just a normal hotel out in Korea. Or they'll go to the Dragon Hill Lodge, which is a DOD hotel in the city of Seoul, basically. Um, so they have really nice facilities there. And also, if you're not married, if you're a single soldier, you can also go to these retreats for single soldiers too, so that's really nice. I really recommend going on that.